three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, this is pet first aid and pet CPR. As far as the CPR, we go by weight, not by breed. So it doesn't make a difference for dog or cat, male or female. I go by weight, over 30 pounds and under 30 pounds. Whenever doing CPR, whenever approaching animal, I right, seat safety is the most important thing. Make sure the seat is safe. As you approach, whenever possible, try and approach from the rear. All right, this way, all right, if the animal does respond, all right, you have to have a buffer between the animal and you. All right, so this way, you're protecting yourself. Make some sounds, see if there's any response to sounds. As you approach, you're gonna to touch them from behind. Again, see if there's any response to touch. You're gonna work your way up. All right, when you get to the chest, stop for a couple seconds. You feel any chest rise, any stomach rise. Just, you feel a heartbeat. Nothing, you're gonna work your way up to the head. You're gonna open the mouth and look inside. If you see an object there, you're gonna take it out. All right, a rock, a stick, a bone. All right, definitely pull that out if you can safely grab that. The next thing we wanna do is open their airway. And to do that, we pull their tongue out. All right, now the tongue will not stick out like this. It will flop down to the side. The reason we pull their tongue is because the tongue's what's blocking the airway. Once the tongue has been pulled out, you're then going to close the mouth. For an animal that has a snout, such as right, the dog like this, you're gonna close the mouth and you're gonna breathe into the snout and we give two rescue breaths. After you hear the breaths, we check for a pulse. The best place to check for a pulse is the femoral artery under the hind leg. If he has a pulse, but he's not breathing, then we give one rescue breath every three to five seconds. If there's no pulse, that means we have to start CPR, the heart is stop beating. Where the elbow meets the chest wall is where we're compressing on the chest. The animal needs to be laying on their right side, because right, the heart is on the left. Over 30 pounds, we stand behind them, or in this case, we have to be kneeling behind them. You're gonna place the palm of your hand on top, and again, depending on the size of the animal, you may be able to use one hand, you may need to use two. We give 30 chest compressions, at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute. And we push down at a depth of one to three inches. If you're not sure if you're getting down deep enough, go a little deeper, all right, 28, 29, 30. All right, after our 30th compression, we get two rescue breaths. We do this for about two minutes or about five cycles, and then we check for a pulse again. If there's no pulse, we will continue CPR. If he has a pulse but he's not breathing, we go back to a rescue breaths, one breath every three to five seconds. If he is breathing and he does have a pulse, we're gonna take him to the, you know, to the vet. For animals under 30 pounds, now because there are animals that are smaller, they may not have a snout, all right? So in this case, what we're gonna do is we breathe in through the nose and the mouth, all right? So get two rescue breaths, all right? Covering the nose and mouth, all right? and then we check for a pulse. If there's no pulse, I, we need to do CPR. Now for the animals over 30 pounds, I, we're kneeling behind them. Under 30 pounds, we're in front of them. And again, because the heart is on the left, I, they need to be on their right side. So in this case, just grab them by the legs and you're gonna roll them over. You're gonna place one hand underneath. This hand is strictly a support. It's not doing anything but supporting the animal. The hand on top is what's gonna be doing the work. Now, depending on the size of the animal, you may need to use one finger, two fingers, three fingers, the palm of your hand. All right, we push down at the depth of one half to one inch on their chest. We give 30 chest compressions, 28, 29, 30, and we give our two rescue breaths. We do this for about five cycles, all right, which is about two minutes. Check for the pulse. If there's no pulse and he's not breathing, we continue CPR. If there's a pulse, if he is breathing, we go back to our rescue breathing. And if we've got a pulse and breathing, we're going to take him to the vet.